Okay, now that uh, part two, the tabletop is completed. Part one was the legs and support, uh, or legs system. Uh, part two was the tabletop. Now we're gonna go start number th part three, the benches. Okay, I had some four by fours that I've already squared off left over from the legs on the table. I'm gonna use them in a similar design to do the leg uh, legs on the benches. So right here is the uprights for the end of the bench. I'm gonna go ahead and build one bench, go through that. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to end up making four benches, two six-footers and two four-footers. Table's ten foot long, and I'll start out. We'll put, walk through the steps of building these uh, six-foot one here. So this is kind of what we're looking like for the bench, uh, the four by four that's been cut down, squared off for the base, upright, just like on the table. And then we're just going with two two by fours at an angle to kind of do a half an X here, something like that. And then there'll be a two by six across the top and then two by eights fasten to that to sit on. Uh, this upright is gonna get mortised into the base, the blind mortise tendon, and up here the two by six will be a through mortise and tendon into the two by six there. So, that's what's planned. Okay, cutting up these leg four by four pieces. This is the last one. Okay, there's two sets for the first bench, and I got one extra bottom piece out of the 4x4s four I already had. So now, next step, I'm going to put a blind mortise and tendon on the bottom of each of those. Okay, I just marked off uh, where the mortise is going to go, center of each one. It's about 1 and 3 16 square. And the center of the block is going to go inch and a half deep. So now, I'll take it over and set it up on the mortise machine. Okay, getting her set up in the mortise machine. I've got my fence set good this way for this back edge here. I've got its chisels in there square. I uh, need the uh, hold down here. Tighten that down. I already set the depth. My depth stop here, inch and a half deep. So I think I'm just about ready. Right off camera, I picked up two eight foot two by eights, uh, ran them through the planer, uh, cut them to length, six foot long. That's going to be the prototype bench tops right there. The only thing I have to do yet on these is I'm going to square up the edges. I've got them clamped together because this stuff tends to just twist so easily. So until I square those edges up, I'm going to go ahead and keep them clamped. And down here is the leg. So this center post will end up being shorter. That's a little long because I've got to cut the tendon on that end to go into that base inch and a half. And there'll be a tendon on the top here that's going to go through this piece. This is the piece that the 2x8s will get screwed onto. And that's a 2x8 cut down to 2x6. Uh, with the ends angled, the bench will overhang about an inch. The bench tops on each side. So that's what I'm going to work on today is cleaning up these uh, mortises there and cutting the tendons on these posts get those all cut, then I can do the, um, I guess you call it half X pieces in here, two by four, two pieces in here to make like the bottom part of the X. Then if that all looks pretty good, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of masking and do the weathered gray stuff on it. Um, got some chickens in here. What are you doing, huh? Um, where was I? <laughs> oh yeah, I, uh, ha ha ha. Lost all my train of thought with these stupid chickens yakking away. What are you guys doing? You're distracting me. Don't you know we got some heavy-duty business going on here? Oh, you don't care, do you? Okay. Okay, where was I? So then after I get all those mortise and tenons finished, um, I'm going to do a little masking and get that weathered gray uh, stuff on them and probably get that while they're apart and then put them together. And look at, speaking of these stupid chickens, what are you doing up there? There's a cabinet I'm building for my brother here. Look at this stupid chicken inspecting. There's always got to be a quality inspector. 
What the heck? Get out of here, you guys. Man, the distraction this morning. So anyway, we'll weather that, that gray weathered look before we uh, put those together. I'm going to epoxy both the mortises. And that's it for now. Let's clean up them mortises. Okay, I just made the uh, cheek cuts with the ink right here, going all the way around to the depth that I had uh, marked off over there. Hopefully that's good. Now I'm going to get out the Kennedy jig and stand it up in there and zip them off this way. Okay, let's try the first cut here. Hope I got everything set right. Just tighten down. Bam, 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 bam. Can't use this uh, clamp that comes with it because I think because of this half inch uh, sacrificial piece of plywood I have in here, it just makes it not open up quite wide enough. So, no problem. The clamp's got it held tight. Back on. Saw on. Height's already set. See what we get. Cut out. Okay, hopefully the final cut on this first one here. Well, there it is. It is pretty darn close. I could probably get it in there, but I think I'm just going to clean up the mortise a tad, and that should be perfect. It looks good. Yeah, let's just clean the mortise up a tad first. Work on that. Okay, let's give this a shot now. Yeah, oh yeah, that's pretty smooth. Oh yeah. Now I got a little gap here. That's the only side because I believe it's out of here. Yep, that's the side I've got a little bit of a edge here. I'm not sure how I got that left. So we'll chisel that down and we'll should be in business. There we go. I did it. Flush. Good, good, good all the way around. Cool. One down. Yeah. I got the two uh, top pieces that go on here marked for their mortise. So I'll take those over to the mortise machine. That'll be all the way through. Then cut the tendon on there. And go on there and drop down to this line here. For the legs. Okay, I got the uh, tendon cut on the top of the first leg there. And I poxied it up last night. I'm going to undo that. Then I'm going to put the top on here that I have the through mortise in. Put it on there and put these angle pieces up there and just see if I'm going to be capable of getting in there to attach those with it all glued together and if I am I'm going to go ahead and epoxy the top on and then trim that tendon off and uh, then weather everything before I attach those little angle pieces. 
if I can get in there okay with the top on. I think I will be able to, so I'm gonna check that out. Well, so much for the gate keeping these guys out now. <laughs> My shop helpers. Hi, huh, guys. Yeah. Okay, I just epoxied the top mortise and tendon. That's sitting upside down. That tenon, which is extra long right now, is going through that hole in the table saw. And a little weight on there. There's the surface plate, which is very heavy. and So I used the, I think it's 15 minute epoxy. So then we can sand it all and get the weathering on it and sand the little extra side pieces, wherever the other one is, and get those weathered. <laughs> okay, on this top spline, uh, along with the epoxy in the joint, I put two of these Miller dowels down into the upright here, one on each side, and I'm also going to pin through the side through that mortise. Uh, possibly, I don't know, that's, I'll have to get a bigger one. I'll have to make sure on that, but I put it down this way with that foaming, expanding Gorilla Glue and epoxy in the uh, mortise itself. That right there is probably going to be plenty, but if I can get one of the longer ones going in this way, through that center here and into the dowel, I'm going to do that as well. Okay, I'm going to put this last uh, pegging in here, going through this mortise, 2x Miller dowel here. That's another. And then, oh, blue. And I'm not a piece of my ring. Hold this thing. All right, here's the first uh, bench X, modified X leg, uh, weathered. No marine varnish on it yet, which is going to darken it and kind of brown it up a little bit. These are not attached yet. So I'll be doing that here soon, but everything else is epoxy, pinned down here, pinned through there, pinned through the back there. And I'm working on the other leg. I've got uh, the finishing up the second little X piece for it there. And I just got to cut the tenon on the top for the other leg. Uh, everything else is done. This mortise and the tenon is done. Uh, the tenon is, or the mortise is cut in the plate for the other one. Just got to cut the tenon. Okay, I did a little five minute epoxy on the bottom here. Bottom blind mortise and tenon. That's set up. I'll go about 15 20 minutes. Unclamp it. Then we'll epoxy this piece on. All right, got the top epoxied on. It's upside down here. That's the base we did earlier. Cut that through tenon going through the hole in the table saw here and the weight on here, that surface plate to hold it while that epoxy sits up. Then we'll flip, flip it over and peg it. All right, let's peg this top down through there with these 1X Miller dowels. There's a special bit on here. Okay, now I switched over to the larger Miller valve bit, put the larger one in here. All right, there's the second leg all ready for, well, got to sand it a little bit and then I can weather it, make it look like the other one. All right, I got the second leg, which is this one, weathered. Uh, these uh, gizmos mounted, so it's caught up to that one with the exception of just plugging the screw holes here in these things. Then I'd be ready for some marine spar varnish. It's a rainy day today, so I don't know if I'm going to get that done or not. I might be able to set up a little booth out in the little weird pole shed, so we'll see. 
Right here are the two legs for the prototype bench with two coats of marine spar varnish, and here's a little center brace uh, so far. Looking like a good match to the uh, legs that are already on the table. And I got the first coat of marine spar varnish sprayed on the tops of the bench here, the two two by eights, six foot long. Chickens are helping. All right, uh, now that these legs are done, I'm getting the holes for these caps that go on the outside, where the uh, steel tech pole is going to go between the two for the stretcher. This is going to go on the outside of the legs to make it appear as though the pole is going clear through the legs. So drilling a uh, what is it, seven eight inch hole which is a little tight, and I'll put some epoxy on these and then tap them in the hole. Then we'll flip it over and put the pole mounts on. So these will be going same height on the other side, right in the center. Those are the mounts for the three quarter inch steel pole. Okay, I already measured up nine inches, got my hole mark center punch there, seven eight spade bit, and I gotta go 13 sixteenths of an inch deep. Okay, one uh, pipe bracket on, and uh, this one to go. Okay, got my height and got a mark there for the center of the pipe to match the uh, cap on the other side. So I'll just look down the center of this and kind of line it up. And mark my bolt holes. All right, now I'm going to cut the uh, pipe length, hopefully. All right, I pulled that twisted one out of there. I'm gonna flip this over and lay that twisted one on top, clamp it down as if it was getting drawn down by the bolt and see if it pulls it down or if it's gonna lift the legs up. Give you an idea of why I like to rant on these big block stories and they're two by lumber. Look at how twisted that is. That's just sitting there. Look at that's probably an inch and six foot, at least three quarters. Oh my God, I don't even think it's worth clamping because I think what's gonna happen when I suck that down, it's gonna lift the corner of one of the legs up. So. But I'll try it. Let's see. Isn't that pathetic? I mean, a third, easily a third of all the wood I get is twisted. 2x4, two 2x6, by 2x8 two by two by does that, even though I treat it like it's supposed to be, get it inside as soon as I buy it, sticker it, clamp it flat, still does that. God. Okay, it's clamped flat, and here's what happens when you try to use that twisted wood. So this thing was perfectly flat before I clamped this twisted one. Now look at this. Wobble, 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 wobble. I can't believe you see that. Oh my God, so I can't use that. Slim chance I'll be able to use it for one of the four foot ones. Quite as. All right, yesterday I picked up the wood I need to make the other three benches and enough to remake that twisted piece. And hopefully we won't get too much twisted out of this. Got three two by eights and two four by fours, all 10 foot long. All right, I got a new six foot board that's not twisted, processed through everything, and got it mounted. So we've got the one 
or first six foot prototype bench done and I am making everything the same one thing I'm changing we'll go in the shop and I'll show you that in a minute but there is the bench pretty happy with it one change I'm trying out and I think I'm gonna go forward with on the rest of these legs instead of the uh, through mortise intended from the leg upright to the top plate I'm doing a one inch hardwood dowel so I've got that already epoxied in and uh, then the plate will go on top epoxied in and cut it off and I think that's gonna be just as strong as the through mortise and uh, a lot quicker and uh, all that stuff so okay finally getting the last of the benches put together here Getting okay, putting together the two four footers this morning and then this whole project will be done table and benches as you can see right over here and here the old uh, homestead farm table has been used as a ping pong table last few nights works pretty good for that it's not regulation size a little longer and a little narrower than a ping pong but it works so anyway let's do some legs here okay I got the far end there propped up with a piece of 2x4 I'm gonna drill the guide hole the holes for the four bolts on each end uh, I've got lag bolts going through there so I want to drill a hole so it doesn't thread in the leg part just in the top part Okay, there's the four footer I just put together. And what's odd is the way it worked out, I think actually those two boards, no, they actually didn't come from the same. They look like they do, they match pretty good. Anyway, one more four footer to go and we can wrap up this bench video. All right, there we go, all the benches done. This project is complete. 10 foot by 45 inch table, uh, two six foot benches, two four foot benches, uh, the X legs and on the benches, the half X legs. Uh, what else? Uh, marine spar varnish on everything all of the the top has 10 coats of epiphanes and the rest of the wood which was weathered it's all douglas fir and i used that weathering on it and it has marine spar varnish at least four coats on all of that and there we go one project done <laughs>